Hello, dear aquarist, dear fish keeper. Thanks for watching my video on this case of fish disease that you selected because it's about the tetra, a bleeding heart tetra from South America, the Hifisabricum erythrostigma. And this fish was suffering from a fin rot with a bacterial and a worm infections internally. So I'll share you my findings. Uh, my findings are also published in my books on fish diseases in different languages. The links are available here below in the text. And here we show you the bleeding heart tetra, which has badly damaged fins. You can see here the fins are rotting away, are wasting, I mean, the very bad condition. Are they rotting away? Well, let's see what we found in the microscope. Maybe you could see here the fin rot. Here, the, the tail part, this part of the tail or the dorsal fin, I don't remember anymore, but it is a fin that here is the bacterial colonies, the bacter massive bacteria which are devouring this fin. Here, we, I show it on the video. All these little tiny black specks are bacteria and they're just eating away the fin tissue. See here. All bacteria all along the side of this fin. And that is, of course, rotting away, taking away the healthy fin tissue. Billions of bacteria, all those tiny black specks. Also, the gills were damaged. You can see here, you can see here, bacteria also getting into the fish. And maybe the major cause of the orig problem originally was that the fish had encapsulated worms causing damage to the internal organs having an impact on the health of the fish look how many worms are here and at the same time there was a live worm a trematode affecting the general health of the fish weakening the fish and then bacterial effects occur secondary at the same time, during my examination, I want to share this video with you. I observed the sperm. This was a male tetra. It is, these are not parasites. These are tiny flagellated sperm cells, spermatozoids coming from the male gonad. Just to share something else than a disease. Well, this tetra bleeding heart, the fins had a bacterial infection, and we could conclude that it is secondary after the weakening due to the worm infections. Because wild fish, yes, they do suffer often from a parasitic worm infection. And here the live worm, the trematode, that can be treated with medications like Prasicantel, and that you should use. And at the same time, you should think about applying an antibacterial treatment. It will also be necessary. Ask your fish doctor or your pet shop. And meantime, well, help your fish to become more healthy, to repair himself, to defend himself. And we would recommend in a case like this, our Dr. Baslier buy fish food professional tree because food with good vitamins and good nutrients can help a lot for your fish. Well, a lot of info on diseases, prevention, diagnosis and treatment in my books in different languages, or you can go to my Patreon and get your training on fish diseases. Subscribe to particular programs I give you as a chance to become a specialist. Well, I hope this video let you understand what can occur with wild fish when they have a worm infection, they get eventually bacterial infections. You can, of course, treat the bacteria, but still the parasites can be the major cause. And for some fish that can be too late or too much advanced infection, that even the bacterial treatment will not help. But this is to understand what can happen with fish diseases. And I hope this teaches you a lesson. And subscribe to learn more about fish diseases, which I supply with many of the videos I share for you, the fish keeper. Thank you.